then I need ya. I fuck with you like Martin, fuck with Gina. We family like we Venus and Serena. Let's go get married like we think out in Kenesha. Welcome back to my channel. I'm like so excited to do this. Like you guys don't even understand how excited I am for real. Like I got my first VR box and I haven't even been a YouTuber that long. So that's what like even makes it more exciting because this is like my actual first for real PR box. So today I'm doing a review on the Jewel pads. They are a premium innovative technology pad. Um, I was sent the ultra thin with wings. There's 10 packs in each. And then I also was sent a um, very light panty liner, which had 30 pads in it. And just a little bit of background on it, like it's supposed to shorten your period, reduce the amount of cramps, and it's overall natural and healthy for your body. So I'm going to do a little demonstration of them. Um, they're really natural and organic and healthier for you than a regular pad. So I'm kind of going to do a demonstration on a regular pad and one of the dual pads and then also one of the dual liners and a regular panty liner. So the panty liner that I did choose was from Always. It is just one of the thin ones. And then I chose a Kotex um, pad with wings as well that is the same consistency as the Jewel. So I did, of course, get a beaker that I did fill with water and food coloring, food coloring, you know, to simulate that it is actually your period. This is an eight ounce cup of water with red food coloring in it. So let's get into the demonstration. Start off with the pad. On the right, we have the jewel pad, and on the left, we have the Kotex pad. And in the middle, we got our blood. So with that being said, we're going to pour some blood on the jewel pad. Let's pour some blood. So look, girl, I hope your ass is not bleeding that fast because you will be dead in a bad of time. So you can kind of see how it literally just filled and soaked the pad. It is warm and you can see like some of, and when you press down on it, this is what I was talking about as far as like um, staying on top of your body. Like my hand is damp from that, from pressing down on it, my hand is very damp. So it's, I can feel it, it's warm, it's damp. It did not leak through the pad, so it did hold it pretty good. So I'm gonna give the Kotex her period. Girl, she bleeding the hell out too. Okay. So she got her period. And as you can see, she soaked all the way up as well. So they have the same consistency absorbent. But look what the Kotex does. It literally like is on top. Like look at my hand, it's there. And it did not as well bleed through. So that's kind of safe. So let's say she bleed again. Ooh girl, honey, she bleed. Ooh, on the panties, oh my goodness. So, she bled. This time, it is soaked, like she's soaked. So if she sit down on top of that, she's soaked. Like my hand is soaking wet. So I kinda wanna just show you guys like what happens in the middle between so you can kinda see how the absorbency is. is I'm yeah. gonna pick our pads up. This is heavy, dog. Get some shit like, ooh, this I've been bleeding all overnight and stuff. So, I mean, she's solid. She in there. She packed. So, let's see. I'm going to fold the wings over so that way I can cut for real. So, as you guys can see, it's literally gel that soaks up everything. Again, 
what I didn't like was that I felt the wetness of the cotton on my skin. So this right here is wet. So it's not that it's not absorbent. It's not that it doesn't soak everything up. It's just that the cotton part on your skin, that's touching your skin, stays wet doesn't dry doesn't like just soak up or anything like that but for the most part you don't have to worry about bleeding through onto your clothes or onto your panties or anything like that because it soaks up so for the kotex one ooh, this is hard to get off this table i'm just gonna fold her wings back and she dripping so you have to worry about leaking onto your clothes. So that is one of the things that I did like, and this has the same gel and jelly. But as you can see, this jelly is a lot like thinner than this jelly. Like this jelly has all these chemicals, this jelly does not. So that was another thing too. But yeah, with this Kotex pad, you would have been leaking through your clothes for sure. So now I want to show you guys the panty liner. And I have the regular always panty liner. And then I have a um, dual panty liner. So, um, it's very easy to open. It comes in a package like this with a um, pull up top. And then this one is the ultra thin pad and it literally just comes in a white wrapper very sanitary and it has a blue strip on it and you just pull it apart like so and then you of course peel the plastic off the back and then you can you know set it in your panties in your panties and then it has the strip part that comes off for you to actually like you know press down into your panties so then it also has like the um, the middle part or whatever. It doesn't have like a perfumey smell. It doesn't smell like smell like anything actually, just like cotton. It's very soft though. And like when you cut it in half, I'm gonna cut this boy in half. You cut it in half, like you can see straight through it. There's like, you know, nothing in there or anything like that. Um, the this is the actual pad and it comes in like a cute container too like the liners and you just you know put it back in this joint you just you know pull it apart as well but this boy big big <laughs> you open it up it's in a plastic liner very sanitary as well and you just pull it apart and it, you know, you know how pads y'all be making that noise when you be like opening pads up in the bathroom and you be trying to be discreet as fuck and it just be like, everybody know you on your fucking period cause you can hear that paper. But you don't, you don't hear that with this. Like, so, and then you just go, well, shit, yes you do, Oh shit. And you just pull it off and then it is sanitary and it just sticks right down in your panties. Another thing that I didn't like about this is that y'all saw how like this one the liner had like a protectant from the sticky stuff that's supposed to go down in your panties the pad actually does not have that it's just already sticky once you take it out of that wrapper so you just stick it down in there and then it has the same pink absorbency line as well and then you just fold it over into your panties and then boom um, one other thing that I didn't like about it is that the butt part or whatever is big. So I wear scrubs during the day, so y'all know I be trying to look sexy as hell, okay? That's, that's just what it is. I be trying to be sexy as hell. So with that being said, I don't want nobody to be able to look at my butt and to know that I got a pad on. Like, and I just kind of felt like it was like, you know, sticking out there just a little bit, just because like I do have a smaller frame. So that was the other thing too. But it did bend and twist with my body as I did get up, move around, stuff like that. So when you cut it in half, it should thick as fuck. When you cut it in half, same thing. You can see straight through it, just cotton. So um, we're gonna do the demonstration now and 
let's get into it we have the jewel panty liner and on the left is the regular always panty liner so let's make her have a light day that's a pretty good light day so everybody had a light day Ooh -wee. okay um so as you can see my fingers are wet from pressing down on it so if you're sitting down you just bled just a little bit or you had an accident when you know you look it up in asia has some dribbles and stuff it's wet so let's see for the always i'm gonna use these two fingers i'm gonna use my two pinky fingers and it's wet as well what is that on my hand oh that's like it's wet as well so they're about the same in absorbency. I feel as if the Jewel probably would just hold a little more than the regular one. But as far as absorbency, they're about the same. And I just like for a way too damn much. But look, it's literally just soaking it up. Soaking is soaking it up, which is crazy. So the always. It's soaking it up as well. You gotta press this to get it to like. I'm just making a mess all over my table. But for the most part, for in my opinion, the absorbency is the same with. Um, each of the panty liners. I didn't really see a difference as far as my light day, but again, my light day was very light this time around, and I'm thinking it was due to using the pads during the first time. My day. period is normally three to four days, three days of bleeding, regular bleeding, not anything heavy or anything that requires an overnight pad, and then a fourth day of just like drippage, like the last of the last. So with that being said, I usually use a box of 24 pads and I will use maybe 12 to 13 of those pads. This period with the jewel pads, I only use five to six during that same date um, time span or day time span. And I did notice um, that I don't experience cramps hardly at all. This time I didn't have any, um, no rumbling, no tightness, no any of that stuff that you typically experience with your period. Um, also, I will say that my drip day was a lot less than what it would have been if I used a regular pad. The only con that I saw with the jewel pad was that I felt an extreme amount of wetness. Like when I would sit down for long periods of time, like maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then would stand up, like the absorbency just seemed like it stuck on top of the pad to me. Like it was still just on my body. And I don't like to feel wet and I don't feel like to feel like I have a diaper on. So that was my only con with it. But other than that, when it comes down to the dates and how um, many you have to use, and as far as the cramping part, I honestly, I would purchase it because if you don't like to be in pain and you don't like to have extended periods or anything like that, then this may be a natural pad for you. Fingers are so red. Look at that. I think on the jewel pad line, I currently like what I use at the moment, but if I was ever looking to switch, I definitely would put jewel at the top of my list. Um, like I said, this was my first PR box and my first product review, so I was super excited to try it. And again, it was my honest opinion about it, and I do like things about it, and there are things that I don't like about it. So if you are interested in trying out dual pads or looking for a natural pad to try that is inexpensive, I will link the dual website down below. If you like videos like this one, don't forget to like comment and subscribe so we can keep those videos coming until next time bye